Okay, so um, now let's hear a message from our head for academic affairs, Professor J uh, Jerby J. Padaras. Good morning, everyone. Good morning to our uh, campus director, Sir Arthur Ismundo, uh, to all our strong and uh, able faculty members of ASU Ibahai. Uh, thank you for joining no, our refresher course in LMS. Uh, last two weeks ago, we had a meeting with our Vice President for Academic Affairs and during our meeting, uh, everybody agreed that we will use the high-flex uh, mode of uh, delivery of instruction. Uh, high-flex high means it is a coined word from hybrid and flexible learning. So we will be using the, the hybrid and at the same time, yung flexible learning natin na uh, we practiced uh, last uh, four semesters. So uh, yung hybrid, we will be, we will, uh, ang teacher magtuturo, no? magtuturo and some of the students uh, will be in virtual, uh, in, a, in a virtual mode. So, uh, and uh, during the meeting also, the uh, program chairs agreed that we will be using LMS because the CHED uh, grant us budget for LMS. Million, hindi lang million, but mar, uh, ilang million ang, ang tawag dyan. Nagasto na ng Commission on Higher Education uh, to have our limited uh, LMS, no? And uh, three years ago, I very, I know, very hesitant yung mga faculty gumamit ng mga LMS because of a lot of, of limitation. However, according to uh, some of the opinion of uh, the university officials, kung hindi natin sisimulan kailan pa na, na pang iwanan na tayo ng, ng panahon because some of our uh, some of the state universities and colleges and region six are already using LMS. So tayo, tayo sa ASU yung ano pa lang, uh, good for, for Calibu campus because they are using already no, the LMS. So tayo nagsimula tayo last year pero hindi talaga na fully implement yung ating LMS. And uh, with this refresher course, uh, I hope that uh, we will be uh, oriented and we will now no, use LMS for this semester. Wala na, tong, wala, no, wala na itong tawag dyan. Wala na tayong option but we have to really use LMS because in the memo it is stated there that we will use solely the LMS as the mode of delivery of instruction to our students. So to all faculty members of ASU Ibahai, let us continue to embrace no, changes. Let us continue to embrace uh, yung mga demands na, uh, na babago. No? And uh, I'm, I know for a fact that uh, ASU Ibahai is very submissive no, for changes. And uh, yun lang, na wag natin kakalimutan parate na in our delivery of instruction, of course, our, our function is to educate our students, to inspire our students, and to empower our students. So at the same time, uh, as teacher, as faculty, uh, we, need, we really need to educate yung ating sarili. No? We should start first to educate ourselves, to refresh, no? to... Uh, learn, relearn, and unlearn things so that uh, we could give uh, the learnings to other students, no? what, we could, what we could give if we don't have. So we really need to uh, educate, we really need to educate ourselves, we need to relearn, unlearn, and relearn. And of course, uh, we have to, to inspire with, with a lot of uh, challenges with a lot of struggles in our uh, station, in our mode of delivery. 
So maraming mga mga changes. So we need to to be inspired. We need to be motivated, no? And uh magtulungan lang tayo so that we will be inspired, we will be motivated in working for the good of of the university likewise uh for the good of our uh, client girls. And next is empowerment. We need to empower uh ourselves. We need to Siyempre, we, 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 we do that, we, we teach that to our students, we empower them. So dapat magsisimula muna sa atin yung empowerment na uh, we do what is best for the university, we initiate, we, we produce, we create, so that we could contribute for the development of the university. So to all uh, faculty and staff, let us continue to embrace no, the, the changes, and let us uh, continue to seek the best for our students, for our client kids. Kasi yun yung ating uh, major objective na at the end of the day, our intellectual consumers, our students would gain something from us for them to be globally competitive. So to the organizer of this LMS uh, refresher course, Sir Ray Martinga, thank you very much for uh the the effort uh thank you for the immediate response to my request na yun agad we we nakapasok tayo sa deadline sa uh, as what was stated in the memorandum so with your dedication and with your commitment eh, and napatuloy natuloy natin ito and to all the computer science faculty members my salute and congratulations in advance god bless and good morning everyone